Where, where do you think it's going? I'd love to know from Brentford fans. 0871722334. The lines are Ramo, Paco, Choco, Jamo. So I'm going to go straight to them. Let's go and speak to are Alex. They full? Hey? Are they full? They are full, mate. Let's go and speak to Alex, an Everton fan. Good evening, Alex. Hi, all right. How are you, Hi, matey? Alex. How, how are you? Uh, are you excited? Yeah. Worried? Nervous not or all? Yeah, not really. No? Not, not, really, not really excited at all. I can't say that I'm not optimistic, because I am a little bit always, but I'm just not very happy with the... Uh, not spent any money, really, have we? That's the main problem, I'm saying. Mm. The signings that we've made are OK for the bench, but they're not going to take us forward to that next place we need to go to. Like, aiming for, what, six? Being a bit optimistic again, like. Mm. But that's our aim, and the players that we brought in and nowhere near good enough to take us to that level, in my opinion. What was it What was it like at the weekend against Manchester United? Was it, was it as, as bad as the scoreline suggests? Well, yeah, from what, what I've was seen, it? yeah. Right. And a, a part of Pickford's howl. I don't know why he can't play well for us, but plays great for England. Mm. Like, mm. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Do you know what, Alex? I think what the worrying thing with Benitez and what Carlo Ancelotti struggled with last year is you didn't have a settled uh, centre-half partnership. He kept swapping it around all the time. Yeah, so, I, I agree with that, yeah. So he needs to... You're going to have Calvert-Lewin coming back. Richarlison's obviously going to be with uh, Brimwood confidently after um, winning uh, out in Tokyo for Brazil. So going forward, I think... I know, him, him coming back late's not going to help either. Like, is it like that's another doubt thing? And I'm not convinced about Calvert-Lewin, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, I, I don't think he's. I don't think he scored many goals outside the six yard box. And but for me, that's a big problem as a striker. No, that's no. That's the way round. You want to be scoring the majority of goals in the six yard. That's where his games improved. Uh, without a I shadow of a doubt. Towards the back end. Towards the back end of last season, I don't think he scored many goals at all. If not any, I think a lot of the goals come from the first half, and that's the problem. If you have another dry spell off him again, we've got no one to come in off the bench to take his place. Are you going to give... What, to start scoring goals, really? Are you going on Saturday? Um, no, I'm not going on Saturday. I'm you... working. All right, but you're going to give Benitez a chance? Because I think it could be well, a pretty yeah, I'm, mixed I'm... Re- reception Saturday. I wasn't bothered about us getting Benitez. I think he's a good a good manager signing, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. The record speaks for itself, doesn't it? And obviously, he said the bad thing about... Uh, Everton years ago, we've been given for that, can't you? a poor manager at the time. Yes, of course. of course. What's the general feeling, though, Alex, amongst Everton fans about Benitez? I'm guessing there are some that, that hate the idea of it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people that haven't forgot about mm. what he said and are holding a grudge against him. But for me, you've just got to get behind the manager. Yeah, I'm going to give him yeah. a chance. And yeah. I, don't think, I don't think he's a bad manager at all. And what was out there when we were looking, for me, it was him or Nuno. Top man. Cheers, Alex. Cheers, Alex. Oh, wait, 717-22-3-4. The Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.